There's two types of people in this world. One who sees a difficult figure on the MCAT and spends an ungodly amount of time looking at it until they convince themselves that this, this figure is simply not meant to be understood. And then other ones that come across a difficult figure and just skip right over it, which protect your peace. That's okay. But those figures on the MCAT are actually quite important. A lot of times they will help us to interpret the results of the study, which is highly tested. And also sometimes we have to get numbers from them to answer those dreaded math questions. My name is Maggie. I'm on 100th percentile MCAT score and a professional tutor. And I'm about to teach you how to take the road less traveled to be the bigger man to actually interpret your figures while you're reading the passage and without wasting time. So without further ado, let's get into our lesson on figure interpretation. There are three things to pay attention to when you come across a figure on the MCAT. And the first one's actually kind of legwork that you have to put in before you get to the figure. And that's actually understanding the written text in the passage that comes before the figure. Yeah, real easy task I've laid before you, I know. But that's why we have strategies like foreshadowing and flow charting that help with that part. The flow of an MCAT passage is predictable. It's typically a short paragraph in the beginning talking about some biomedical science phenomenon and then an experiment that gets into the specifics of that phenomenon and then a figure at the bottom that kind of displays those results. And skipping to the figure without understanding the passage that comes before it is like skipping to the end of a book. I know it's hard to be patient, but it's worth the wait. Once you're actually to the figure, you can start paying attention to clue number two, and that is the title or the figure caption. Listen, they put answers in the figure caption, or they put like information that's necessary to answering the question into the figure caption, especially if it has the word note right beside it. So as soon as you get to a figure, read the title and or the figure caption. It orients you to what you're even looking at. The third thing to pay attention to is axes. So X axis is the independent variable, Y axis is the dependent variable. Of course, this is only relevant to some graphs, but it makes a huge difference when it is relevant. See what's being manipulated or measured and with your knowledge of the experiment that was presented in the passage beforehand, quickly interpret the results that are displayed. Also take a quick look at units here on our axes in case we do have to use them in any math questions later on. We want to know kind of what units we're working with. Some figures are just molecules or schematics of the actual like physical experiment um, and those don't require as much analysis on our part so just glance at them make a mental note of where they appear in the passage in case you do um, have to come back to them later on to answer a question. So the million dollar question how long should you take to interpret these figures? I would say 20 to 30 seconds no longer than that and again this takes practice like all of our other strategies. So if it takes you a little bit longer to do that in the beginning, you know, don't beat yourself up. But by the time you're actually testing, you should not be lingering on figures for longer than 30 seconds. Let me show you how I interpret a graph in this amount of time. Effect of this deficiency on translation in wild type and deficient bacteria, data presented as blah, 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 and some significance. So when they're divided like that on axis, one would mean that they're the same, which is normal in wild type bacteria, but in the deficient, it looks like there's less firefly luciferase, especially when the lysine is encoded by this triple A or this double AG codon instead of the triple A. So this is the one that's worse off. So a lot of that probably didn't make that much sense because I didn't have you guys read the passage beforehand. Um, but in my mind, like it totally makes sense and I can answer this question that showed up later because I put in the time beforehand to understand this figure. So there you have it. All of our strategies take practice and of course this one isn't excluded, but after a while you'll start to see figures as helpful on the MCAT for displaying the results quickly and efficiently rather than being a time suck or just another obstacle to get through. Let us know if this video helped you down in the comments, what did you want to see on future videos and hit like and subscribe. Until next time.